here we want to solve this Laplace equation in polar coordinates with the boundary condition u a theta equals f theta where u is periodic in theta with period 2 pi and u is bounded for r less than or equal to a so within this circle the u this function u is bounded okay and this u is periodic this u that means f is periodic in theta second variable theta with period 2 pi to solve this one we use the method of separation of variables so let u r theta be r times theta be the solution theta is a function of theta now plug this into equation 1 we get u r r means r double prime theta plus 1 over r r prime theta plus 1 over r square u theta theta r theta double prime equals 0 move this over and multiply by r square and divide by r theta you get r square r double prime over r plus r r prime over r equals negative theta double prime over theta and let's say in lambda separation constant okay separation constant then this equals lambda implies r square r double prime plus r r prime minus lambda r equals zero okay let's say this our assumption three and this one is four for future reference and this theta double prime over theta equals pi sorry lambda gives theta double prime plus lambda theta equals zero now we want to solve five first and at the same time we want to solve four here we get theta here we, we get r and r times theta r times theta is u okay to solve five since theta is u is periodic with respect to theta so lambda must be a, a real number so we have three cases okay the first one is let's say lambda negative say lambda equals negative mu is square where mu is positive then pi becomes theta double prime minus mu is square theta equals zero whose now to solve this one you want to find the characteristic equation which is s square minus mu square equals zero from there yes is plus minus mu so the solution theta in terms of theta is c1 cosine hyperbolic or just e raised to mu theta plus c2 e raised to negative mu theta okay and since u is periodic with respect to theta uh, to make this periodic we have to have c1 and c2 zero because e raised to mu theta is never periodic so since u is periodic that entrance theta is periodic we must have c1 and c2 both constant zero that means this solution is trivial solution so lambda less than zero is not an eigenvalue so we don't get any solution so the second case is lambda equals zero okay when lambda equals zero equation five becomes theta double prime equals zero and whose solution is now theta is just c1 theta plus c2 okay just like y double prime equals zero and y is ax plus b this is the solution and we know theta is periodic with res theta is periodic with period 2 pi so when we have theta 
then this term does not let us make periodic zero. C1 must be zero. Okay. Since theta is periodic, this C1 should go away. So we have theta is just C2 or we can just say 1. Okay. Now for this lambda equals 0, uh, we want to solve equation 4. Okay. So for lambda equals 0, equation 4 becomes r is square r double prime plus r r prime equals 0 and this is an this is an Euler equation so its characteristic equation is yes so we have to use r but r is already used so yes yes minus 1 plus 1 yes equals 0 and if you simplify that gives s square equals 0 or s is 0 0 repeated roots then the solution r as a function of r is c1 r raised to first root 0 plus c2 r raised to 0 natural log of r r raised to 0 is 1 so c1 plus c2 natural log of r and we want we know u is bounded for r less than or equal to a that means this r must be bounded but natural log of r when r is very very small when r goes to zero natural log of zero very small is negative infinity so this one will be unbounded okay r r is uh, bounded when c2 equals 0 for r goes to 0 when r goes to 0 natural log of r is kind of negative infinity so c2 must be 0 then what is r in this case r is just c1 or just constant 1 so we found theta 1 and r is just 1 then u r theta is r r times theta theta which is 1 times 1 just 1 okay now the third case is when lambda is positive so let me go up now the third case is So, so far when lambda equals 0, we got the solution u equals just 1. Now, the third case is lambda positive. In this case, say lambda equals mu is square where mu is positive. For this lambda, phi becomes theta double prime plus mu square theta equals 0 whose characteristic equation is s square plus mu square equals 0 so s equals plus minus mu i that means the solution theta is c1 cosine mu theta plus c2 sine mu theta since theta is periodic with respect to theta is periodic with period 2 pi mu must be a positive integer okay so since theta is periodic with period with a period 2 pi mu must be a must be a positive integer okay since theta is periodic with period 2 pi mu must be a positive integer thus theta is c1 cosine n theta plus c2 sine n theta for n bigger than or equal to 1 now we need r 
in this case so when lambda is positive now we want to solve equation 4 okay now from equation 4 we get if you look at carefully equation 4 is a is an Euler okay So equation four with our with lambda equal I mean with mu equals n. So lambda is mu e square. Mu is n, so this is n square. So we get r r square r double prime plus r r prime minus lambda is mu square which is n is square r equals zero this is Euler so the characteristic characteristic equation is s s minus one plus one s minus n is square equals zero which is this one is now s is square minus s plus s cancel minus n is square equals zero so s is just plus minus n then r is c1 r raised to plus n c2 r raised to negative one is solution and we want r to be bounded when r goes to zero when r is very very small this one blows up that means r is bounded when c2 is zero for r very small when r is very small this blows up we don't want we don't want that that means c2 must be zero so r is just constant some constant times Rn. C1 is already used. We should have written some other. Let, let me write down A Rn. So we have R and we have theta. Thus, U R theta is just R times theta. We just found R, which is A constant. I'm writing different because C1 is already used A Rn and theta was found c1 cosine n theta plus c2 sine n theta okay let me go back okay let's multiply through so a times c1 that will be another constant okay a times c1 so r n cosine n theta plus a times c2 that will be another constant r n sine n theta in fact this solution is a linear combination of r n cosine n theta and r n sine n theta so we can say these two are also the solution okay so let me go back so we have a solution u equals a linear combination of these two solutions and from case 2 when lambda equals 0 we have 1 so in fact we have three solutions okay so I want to erase something here and say thus the solution uh, are there are three and they are called fundamental solutions in fact they form a fundamental set of solution thus one when lambda equals zero we are getting one and we just found a linear combination of two so the first one is r n cosine n theta and r n sine n theta this set forms a fundamental set of solutions now their linear combination is the solution so said 
the solution u r theta is just a linear combination a constant times one and let's say the constant to be c naught over two times one okay there is a reason to write in this way constant times first solution plus uh, there are infinitely many look at the n so let's say in this way uh, some constant say c n first solution r n cosine n theta plus some constant say k n r n sine n theta n from 1 through infinity okay this is a linear combination of these solutions which is the solution of the Laplace equation but we need to know what is C naught, what are C n's and K n's. For that one, we need to use the boundary condition. So, using the boundary condition, u when a theta, when r equals a, we are given a function. When we use this one, we get u a theta equals a of theta, r equals a. So, this is C naught over 2 plus sum n from 1 through infinity c n r is a a n cosine n theta plus k n a n sine n theta now if you look at carefully this is just a Fourier series for this function okay page 588 if you look at page 588 Mm, this one is say uh, a n this is a naught over 2 a n and this is say b n so page 588 of your text this is just a Fourier series expansion for f theta and we know how to find the constants okay then the c and a n c and a n those are given by 1 over L half of the period period is 2 pi so 1 over pi negative pi to pi which is same as 0 to 2 pi f theta and this cosine n theta d theta and this is true for n equals 0 1 2 everything okay when n equals 0 we get c 0 so we get c naught we wrote c naught over 2 just to match this with the Fourier series expansion and the second constant k n a n is 1 over pi 0 to pi f theta sine n theta d theta okay so the solution of this Dirichlet problem is given by u r theta here let's say this one is a star where the constants c naught c1 c2 c3 all the way c infinity k1 k2 all the way infinity are given from star 2 okay let me put in this way thus the solution is given by star where the constants are found from double star okay the solution is given by star where the constants are found by double star 